Hello everyone, my name is Anu and today we'll do the next chapter of class 3 English, the story of road. Do you know children that everyone has a story? Okay, but would you think that non-living things also have their stories? Hmm? Let's find out what the writer is telling us about the story of road. Let's see. But before that, look at these pictures. Okay, can you see these two pictures I am showing you? And observe carefully, watch, watch it and tell me what is the difference that you see here in these two pictures. Yes? Okay, now let's see. What do we find out? Okay, now you can see that in the first picture, the road is sleeping. Okay, a crow is there, a sparrow is there, a newspaper boy is there, right? And in the second picture, school going children are there and the road is smiling. Clear? Now let's see um, what the writer is telling us about the story of the road. It is early morning. The road is asleep. Everything is quiet. But listen, the birds are calling softly. Chirp, 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 say the sparrows. Chirp, 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 ka, 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 says the crow. Ka, 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 wake up, wake up. Here is someone else now. Tringling, tringling. It is the newspaper boy. So in this stanza, students, you can see that it is an early morning scene. Okay. Now road is asleep, but the road is asleep. Okay. It's in it's morning, but the road is sleeping, and everything is quiet. There is no noise in the uh, atmosphere, and it is every everything is quiet. But listen. But yes, we can listen this, uh, the chirping of the sparrows and cars of the crow. You know, but the crows and the sparrows, they are chirping. They are making noise. Now, what they are saying? They are saying, wake up, wake up. And to whom they are saying, students? They are saying to the road. Okay. They are telling the road. They are waking up the road. Okay. Now, here, here is someone else now. And now someone else has also come there. Who is he? He is a newspaper boy. Okay. So in this stanza, we read that it is early in the morning. Everything is quiet. But sparrows and crows, they are chirping in the morning. They are talking to the road and they are waking the road up. Okay. And then who comes? Then there comes a newspaper boy. Okay. And what sound he is making? Tringling, tringling. It is his bicycle ring. Right. So, let's see next. Tringling, tringling says his bicycle. Tringling, wake up. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Say the sparrows. Chirp, chirp. Ka, ka. Says the crow. Wake up. Who is this coming now? You can see children that uh, the bicycle uh, the bicycle is making a sound tringling tringling the sparrows are chirping the um, crow is uh, also uh, saying ka ka and everyone is saying wake up because everyone is waking up the road who was asleep who is asleep now who is this coming now it is the vegetable man peas cauliflower cabbages says the vegetable man potatoes cucumbers red dishes carrots ka says the crow wake up chirp chirp says the say the sparrows now here after the newspaper boy who comes now here comes the vegetable uh, man who is selling his vegetables and what is he saying? He is saying peas, cauliflower. He is actually he is calling out the names of his vegetables. Right? He is saying peas, cauliflower, cabbages, potato, cucumber, radishes, carrots. 
okay and everyone is speaking something or other okay the vegetable man is speaking the name of his vegetables the birds are chirping the uh, crow is saying ka ka right the sparrows are chirping everyone is trying to wake up the road now next who comes to wake up the road it is tramp 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 chatter 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 who are these they are children going to school chatter 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 talk the school children tramp 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 go their shoes okay now the next one who is who is coming these are school going children okay they are coming their shoes are making sound tramp tramp and they are talking to each other they are chatting they are chattering okay now these uh, school going children are talking their shoes are also making noise and then sparrow is also making uh, noise she is chirping then uh, crow is also making noise right then vegetable man is also there peas carrots cabbages calls the vegetable man chirp 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 say the sparrows ka ka says the crow wake up ka 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 says the crow ka ka wake up wake up ask the road now everyone is trying to wake up the road and now what is the road asking the road is asking wake up ask the road can't you see you foolish bird i'm wide awake right the road is saying that i'm already awake okay i'm not sleeping why are you calling again wake up wake up because the crow is again and again telling the road to wake up now the road has already woken up and uh, uh, you know and he is telling the that bird that crow that can't you see you foolish bird i'm wide awake right students so in this story what did you see that everyone that it is a early morning early morning scene is described here where the road is asleep everything is quiet but then comes the uh, but the birds are chirping the uh, you know the crow is making sound and everyone all the other uh, people one after another comes like so first of all comes the vegeta uh, the newspaper boy then comes the vegetable man then comes the school going children everyone was making noise everyone was calling out everyone was chatting so now because of all that sounds the road wakes up and when the crow is trying to waking the road up the road says that i'm already awake right so this was the story of road students right <clears throat> now next let's see new words now the first word that has come newspaper what is a newspaper every one of you knows right it's a printed publication containing news articles advertisements etc right newspaper you must have read uh, you must have read in the morning your parents must be reading right and um, can you give me the names of some of the newspapers yes very good it's the times of india the hindustan times and so many other newspapers are there right let's see the next word uh, and we can also make a sentence like i read newspaper daily in the morning okay now next word we have cucumbers and you know that it's a long green skinned fruit i eat cucumber as salad with my meals right next cabbage a vegetable with green leaves and we can make a sentence like a man was selling fresh cabbage on a cart next is potatoes it's a round starchy vegetable and we can make it make a sentence like potatoes are tasty to eat next we have radish it's a small root eaten raw with salad okay we bought fresh radish from the farm from the farm cauliflower a cabbage with small white flowers 
flower birds. We should eat cauliflowers to be healthy. Next is foolish. Foolish means unwise. Although all all the words are very easy, there are no such as such new words in this lesson. One is foolish. Foolish means unwise. We can make a sentence like we should stay away from foolish people. So these are the new word students that we have done. Now let's see the question answers of this lesson. What sounds do you hear on the road in the morning? So what are the sounds that you hear in the morning on the road? So the answer is we hear the sounds of chirping, birds, crows, bicycle bell and chatting children in the morning. Right? And the vegetable man also. Yes. What is the vegetable man selling? So the vegetable man is selling different variety of vegetables like potatoes, cabbages, cauliflowers, radish, etc. Next, why is the road annoyed with the crow? Okay, the road, the road was annoyed with the crow na? in the last. He was telling that he was uh, saying crow a foolish bird. So why was he annoy, annoyed? Why was he angry? The road is annoyed with the crow because it is asking her to wake up while she is already awake, right? Because she is already awake and the crow was again and again telling the road to wake up and while the road is already awake. Let's see the next. Now next is talk time in your book, students. Let's hear this. Stop, look and listen. Stop, look and listen before you cross the street. Use your eyes, use your ears and then use your feet. This is a very small poem, students. Talk about how you would cross the road. This is about how we should cross the road. Like we should uh, stop, look and listen. We should stop, look and listen before you cross the street. Use your eyes, your ears and then your feet. Now, Talk about how you would cross the road. So how you would cross the road students? You can write anything like I will cross the road by zebra crossing. Okay and whatever you can write so many other things. I will find a safe place to cross the road where there is a space to reach the footway or footpath on the, e on the other side. Right. Then uh, first I will look left then right and then again left before crossing the road. There may be special signals for pedestrians. I will only start to cross the road when the green figure shows. Huh? And a foot over bridge, subway, under passage can also be used to cross the road. Okay, now see. Can you make the sounds which you hear when you walk on the road? Talk about them. Yes, I can make the sounds which I hear when I walk on the road. Some of them are. The sound of horns of different vehicles, the sound of wheels of the vehicles, the sound of a barking dog. Okay, and you yourself can write anything, whichever the sound you can make you that, that you hear on the road, you can write. Now here, the next exercise we have, use can and cannot alternatively in the following sentences. Now here are some sentences. That you have to tell that whether you can do it or you cannot do it. Like I dash hear the sound of cars. Can you hear the sound of cars? Yes. So we will write I can hear the sound of cars. I dash hear the train whistle. Can you hear the train whistle? Yes. So I can hear the train whistles. I dash hear the wind blow. Can you hear the wind blow? Whenever it's okay, whenever it's a slow wind, you can't hear it, right? So you will write that I cannot hear the wind blow, and uh, I can hear the clock, I cannot hear the sound of a feet, I can hear the sound of moving chairs, I can hear the dogs barking, 
okay so whatever you feel like you can write because whenever there is a heavy wind is blowing then you can hear the sound of wind blowing right you can also hear the sound of feet whenever you are wearing a shoes and you are walking so you can write whatever you feel like you can hear or cannot now next is look at the picture and write four sentences about what you see now here you can see this is a this is a road and it's near ocean or the sea and whatever you feel whatever you observe in the picture you can write about it like in this picture i can see a tree in this picture i can see a road in this picture i can see a sea near the road in this picture i can see some vehicles on the road like trucks cars and jeep right then you can write anything whichever you uh, saw in the picture and whichever you see in the picture now that's it students this was the story of the road now thank you so much for watching the video stay tuned with me for my next videos till then take care and enjoy learning